Hello students, welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about the reflexive pronoun or reflexive pronouns and their usage. As you can see I have a fact up here, it says reflexive pronouns reflect or emphasize a preceding, on preceding nouns or pronouns. On the right side of the board here I have all the personal pronouns listed and to the right of them I have all the corresponding reflexive pronouns. I have two examples here written on the board. The first one says I will do this myself. As you can see this here myself, this reflexive pronoun is reflecting on this personal pronoun or on this subject. I. I will do this myself. I will do this without any help. I will do this personally. This is what this means. I will do this personally. I will do this myself. I don't know if you're familiar with the phrase if you want something done right you have to do it yourself. The next one is he did that by himself. He did that by himself. This reflective pronoun reflects on this pronoun here. He did that by himself. Something else I need to explain to you is that when you use a preposition by before a reflexive pronoun, this means that this particular person did this or, or this was done alone without help by himself. He could say, I did that without any help. I did that by myself. Or I did that alone. I did that by myself. Or for example, today I was by myself in my house. That means today I was alone in my house. But as you can see, this reflects on this pronoun and this reflects on this particular pronoun. If it were Shannon did that by himself, then himself would be reflecting on Shannon, which is a noun. Next, I will have some more practice examples so that you can um, obviously practice with me. Now you are going to help me change these sentences in order to have reflexive pronouns in them. The first one says, she did that alone. She did that alone or without any help. So this means she did that by, remember, when somebody does something alone or without any help, you must use a preposition by and then the corresponding reflexive pronoun, which in this case is, if we are using the personal pronoun she, we are talking about a woman, so we are going to use herself. Herself reflects on she. So she did that by herself, on her own. She did that alone. The next one is, they were lousy, so he had to do it. He had to do it himself. Why himself? Because we are going to reflect in, on this particular personal pronoun. They were lousy, so he had to do it himself. What would happen if instead of he, this here, we took it away and we used the personal pronoun I? They were lousy, so I had to do it. We would change this because this reflexive pronoun does not correspond to that personal pronoun. So we would change it for or to myself. 
They were lousy, so I had to do it myself. And the third one says, she looked at blank in the mirror. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? You see your, your reflection. You see yourself in the mirror. You see you, yourself. So she looked at... Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Herself in the mirror. The reflexive pronoun herself is reflecting on she. She looked at herself in the mirror. As you can see now, I highlighted the ending of each of one of these reflective pronouns, reflexive pronouns. Why? Because I want you to notice something. I, singular personal pronoun, myself, it ends with self. You, it's also singular, ends with self. He, same thing, ends with self. She, singular, self. When it is a plural personal pronoun, we, it will end with ourselves. They, themselves. You, yourselves. So if you are looking at a singular personal pronoun, you are going to use the ending self. And if it's plural, you are going to use the ending selves. All right, next I will leave you some homework because remember that you need to practice in order to improve your English. Now for homework, you are going to write four sentences using reflexive pronouns. You are welcome to copy these notes so that you can figure out the best way to use reflexive pronouns. Remember the fact, ref reflexive pronouns reflect or emphasize on preceding nouns or pronouns. So if you remember this fact and these, this list here, you will be ready to master this topic. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave your homework in the comment section below. And if you have a workbook, do it in your workbook. Thank you so much again and see you in the next video. Would you like to watch my next video? video. Click on the television to the right. I'll be talking to you about the superior use of subject pronouns. We know this fact that...